Hi, I'm Mike Richter, and today I'm going to be talking about infinite return on investment, the holy grail of real estate investment, and that's something that I've been looking at for my most recent project. Let me set up a scenario for you so that you can kind of follow the numbers with me. So there's a house purchase for $55,000. I'm expecting $5,000 in tra transaction fees between purchasing the house and refinancing the house later on down the road. I'm expecting a $20,000 renovation and I'm expecting from the refinance to be able to refinance 75% of the value of the home as a loan. And I'm going to assume that the after repair value of the home will be $110,000. So how this works is I buy the house, I pay $55,000. If I were just a regular flipper or maybe if I was really flush with cash, I would put my cash down. But if I were to do that, I wouldn't be making infinite returns. So instead I'm gonna be using a combination of other people's money. And how I'm gonna do that is I have a private investor who's going to be providing the 15% down payment as well as the renovation budget I'll also be having the seller carry a note for the remaining 85% of that $55,000 balance. And that one point, I'll expect to have about a $1,500 worth of transaction costs on the purchase itself. Because it's seller finance, there's really not a whole lot that goes into that as far as inspections or anything like that. Those are the kinds of things that I'll be expected to bear, but I'll be getting other people's money to cover those costs. The renovation itself, I expect to be about $20,000 total. I expect the place to rent for $1,000 a month after it's been renovated and brought up to new standards. And I'll be refinancing the property with an after repair value of $110,000. So 75% of $110,000, I can get a loan for $82,500. So the net effect of that is through all of my transaction costs, the purchase of the home, the renovation, all of that, I've put out $80,000 of other people's money. I'll be able to refinance that out and get $82,500 as a loan from the bank. So I'll be able to pay myself $2,500 and I'll be able to pay my private lender off in addition to all the interest as well as pay off the seller financing all at the same time. The net result of that is I end up with a, a boosted net worth of $27,500 and a rental property that will probably get me somewhere between $120 to $150 a month in passive cash flow after accounting for everything like vacancy, maintenance, repairs. I don't expect for the first couple of years of having this rental that I'll have much maintenance or repairs simply because throughout the renovation process, most of the fixtures and the appliances are going to be new. A lot of the major systems that make maintenance calls happen will be fairly new. So I don't expect there to be too many maintenance problems, but I will have a healthy reserve for maintenance, repairs, and all of that. And the coolest thing about it is I will have done it entirely with other people's money, which means I will have gotten that extra $27,500 in net worth and a new cash flowing asset without money coming out of my own pocket. And I get an extra $2,500 to take my family on a short vacation somewhere here in Texas. How cool is that? So the whole reason for bringing you this was to kind of inspire you to let you know that there are ways to do real estate with no money down, but you need to know the right kinds of properties to get into for that. You need to have good experience. Is it easy? No, it's not easy at all. In fact, I've been investing for over four years in buy and hold properties before trying something like this, but I wanted to let you know that it is possible. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you've got any commentary on it, by all means, go ahead and leave it down in the comment section below. I'd love to have a conversation with you about it. And if you'd like to see more content from this channel, by all means, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. 
And if you want up-to-date information as soon as content comes out from this channel, go ahead and hit that little bell symbol to adjust your notification settings. Thanks so much for your time. Make it a great day. And remember one thing. There's, you're only one action away from the rest of your life. Make it count.